Okay, so we made a neat uh, thing called using the function list plot that we learned how to use. And so let's back up a little bit. And so we can go the list plot up to say 500. And this is a plot of how many uh, divisors each number has going from 1 to 500. Mm. And you can see if we stop at 240, which is probably what I should have done in the first place, but I actually have to stop at 241. There's our 20 divisors. 240. That we had at 240. Mm -hmm. And we can see that that's the largest. Just yeah, and then there's, I think these might have been the, which ones? I think there was a, there were 18. That must have been the 18 right there. That must have been the 18, we saw that. There was only one 18. Yeah, and then we found, we saw that we we did make a mistake actually going up to 1,000. There was a 32 here. At around 800. Around 800. So we missed that when we were searching down our list. But now we can just keep adding zeros and we can go up to 10,000 and we see there's one number here. That That's really big. Around, maybe, maybe around 9,000 or so that has more than 32. So there's a lot that are above 30, or 30 or above. Seems like there's a bunch that have 30. Yeah, there's a bunch that have 30. We know this line here was 32, or not line. Those points are 32, so I'm not sure what this um, one is. Maybe 33, it's 35. 34. Or, who knows? Although we could easily zoom in on this. So we could, we could say, we could first look from 8,000 to 10,000, kind of zoom in. Looks it's like it's between 9,000 and 9,300. There it is. That's it right there. So it's around 9,200. From 9,200 to 9,250. So it's it's right there. 9,000. It's between 9,000. 210 and 9,220. That one? It's 9,216. And so we can just put that in up here. Nine. So that's 33 divisors. Cool. Hmm. And what is, well, I wonder what's special about the number 9,216. Hmm. What primes factors into it? It's an odd number of divisors. Ah, it's a, it's a square. Hmm. But I think factor integer is the, it's two to the tenth times three squared. Cool. So that helped us. Yeah. So if I go, we can make a list up to a hundred thousand down here. Not too hard. It takes the computer a little while to make that plot. But then we see, see, there's we just see a those couple. 33s, there's 9,216, yeah. there's another one that has 33, and there's the largest one here that has 33. Around 50,000. Around 50,000. It's funny, I haven't, there were around, there was around 10,000, there was only one that had like 15 or something. I can look. So see, right below, right here, there's only one of them that has, I think, 12. Interesting. Let's see if we can find it. Is it below a thousand or above a thousand? Well, I think it seems. It looks like around four. Must be just slightly above a thousand. So let's go from a thousand to one thousand one hundred. I thought it was at four thousand. Oh wait, there it is, right there. Yeah. Is that the magic thing? Looks like it. Zoom. So one oh eight oh the one. So we could just do that instead. This one. Yeah, looks like it. One oh nine five. So one oh nine seven. One oh nine seven. One oh nine eight. What's special about one oh nine eight? I wonder. Hmm. Does it have not is that the only one that has? Hmm. Maybe we should. Yeah, it's to hard to believe that's the only one that has one, two, one. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe it's one oh nine seven. Let's look more carefully. 
Oh, it's 1098. Hmm. But we were looking for a very specific number here. Wait, but it, it's around 4,000. Oh, were we? Oh, no, no, no. Here. Oh, that that's, one. That's the one we were looking at. It's between 1,000 and 2,000. It looks like that's 11 to me. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there was one number here that had ele exactly 11 divisors. And there was also another one that I think had... So what number has exactly 11 divisors? Well, that's, it's a square. Yep. It's a square. Hmm. It's well, a number... Two to, the, 2 to the 11th has exactly 11. Or 2 to the 10th has exactly 11. But there could be 2 to the 10th. What is 2 to the 10th? 1,024. 1,024. Hmm. Could yeah. be. So that's the one. And what's the next one that has exactly 11 divisors? 3 to the 11. 3 to the 11. Hmm. How many divisors does 3 to the 11 have? 3 to the 10th. How many divisors does 3 to the 11 have? It has 12. So what's the first, what's the next number that has exactly 11 it's divisors? It's 3 to the 10th. 3 to the 10th. And let's see what 3 to the 10th is. 59,000. Maybe that so was... Why doesn't it show up? Well, but 3 to the 10th Oh, is... we only went to 10,000 yeah. here. So if I go to 100,000, we should see another one that has... There's 11, there's 11. Cool. cool. All right. Good job, guys.